channel. If this is your first time checking me out, welcome. My name is Aisha. I'd love it if you subscribe down below and join the fam. We're almost at 100k, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you did subscribe. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know if you're new, I have an Eid series that I do on my channel every single year, and this is the third year in a row that I'm doing my Eid series. And the most exciting part is that it is a completely drugstore. Every single thing on my face is from the drugstore. I'm calling it sort of my summer heat tutorial because it just kind of reminds me of the warm summer and just sort of like a really hot, bronzy, glowy sort of look. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. So if you do, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what other makeup tutorials you guys would like to see in my Eid series. I will definitely be taking requests on specific colors or specific looks. Um, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump into it. So I'm going to start by priming the face and this is a new primer for me. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm going to just take a little bit of that and put this all over my face. It is white. I'm hoping it does not give me a white cast. Cool. It's actually pretty good. It's like very hydrating. I didn't think that it would be hydrating for some reason. I like it though. And over top that I'm going to go in with my Baby Skin by Maybelline. This is a really, really good primer if you have large pores, um, but just be careful because it can sort of pill. So just make sure you're patting it into your skin rather than like swiping it all over um, because then it'll really fill in the pores and give you a really nice smooth canvas without like pilling. So basically I'm just focusing this in my T-zone because that's where I have the most texture, so sort of around my nose. And then a little bit in between my brows and right above my brows and my forehead. Next, I'm going in and concealing any dark spots around my face using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in their orange corrector shade. This is like a cult favorite. It's a really great product. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see that, but it always leaves like water droplets if you don't like mix this properly. It's really gross. So I'm also using a new foundation today, and this is the L'Oreal True Match. This is like, I think, their original foundation, or at least the one that's definitely the most talked about. Um, I've never tried this before. I know it's kind of crazy, but I just, I've never picked it up, and I don't know, it's just something about the bottle never really drew me in. But I have, I have the shade um, N8 Cappuccino, as you can see over there, and I think it's a pretty good shade match actually so I'm excited to test this out. I'm just sort of like dotting it all over my face first because that's what I normally do. Okay it might be a little dark but <laughs> I think I can make it work. I actually do prefer wearing darker foundations. Um, I don't know I feel like they just look nicer on my skin for some reason but like as you can see my chest is a lot lighter than my like my face as you can see there's like a line there I don't really know why a couple people were asking about that but my chest is a lot lighter so if you just kind of look at my neck it's a pretty pretty good shade match hopefully this doesn't oxidize though because then it'll look kind of weird <laughs> I think I might have to go pick up a lighter shade of this and like to mix in because I'm in love with how this foundation looks on me I know this isn't a first impression it's just a tutorial but like it is gorgeous. I'm gonna try to even out my skin tone using concealer. So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And this shade, I think, will do a nice job of just kind of making my face look a little less warm. <laughs> or just a little more even, since it looks pretty dark, but I love this concealer. Um, and this specific shade, I think it's perfect for highlighting. A lot of people always ask me in the comments where they can find LA Girl um, in Toronto and now they actually sell in Urban Planet because I went to the Fairview Mall location about two weeks ago and they had literally the entire range of LA Girl products including all the concealers, the powders, they have even some of the foundations, they have the liquid lipsticks and they even have like the color correctors so if you are wondering where you can find it, you can find it there. You can also find it at any like beauty supply store, like those beauty supply stores that sell like wigs and hair products and stuff like that. You can find LA Girl there as well. But right on top of that, just to brighten a little more, I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And this one is in the shade 
deep tan, medium deep tan. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. I know it looks like a lot, but I'm just kind of smearing it around in a thin layer. So I also have a new setting powder to try. This is exciting. This is the Shine Free Oil Control Loose Powder by Maybelline. And I saw, I think, Alyssa, Alyssa something on YouTube. I forget her name, but um, she reviewed this and she had a really, really good review on it. So I got the shade 02 Medium and it looks like this. And basically it's just like a loose setting powder. I couldn't find this in stores in, um, places around me in Canada. So I actually just ordered it off Amazon. I'll have the link down below for it. This is what it looks like. It's a nice shade actually. I'm also setting my lids because we're gonna put shadow on them. So that powder actually did a really nice job at setting my face and my under eyes. It did leave a bit of sort of like an ashy cast. I might have put a little too much, but I think it did a pretty good job and that's nothing I can't fix with like face powder or bronzer or anything, so I'm not too worried. So speaking of bronzer, I'm actually gonna be using the NYX No Filter Bronzer. You guys know I have been loving this stuff lately and mine is in the shade Mahogany. Now this is actually a pressed powder, like, um, to set your foundation but i personally i just got like a deeper shade and i use this for bronzer and i think it is beautiful and this also has like slight shimmer to it because it is sort of like a baked product so it adds a really nice healthy glow to the skin so now that we have a really flawless base i'm going to zoom you guys in a little so we can work on the eyes so for this eyeshadow look i wanted to do something that would match with a lot of different outfits as my first eid look so i'm gonna go in wow I promise you, I just bought this today, but my hands are so dirty, I made this thing look disgusting. I got my hands on this Milani palette, and this is their Everyday Eyes 05 Earthy Elements, and I thought this would be so beautiful. Honestly, I was just attracted to this orange over here. So that's mainly why I got it, and it actually comes with a really nice brush. I'm gonna go in with this first shade over here on just a fluffy crease brush, and I'm just gonna use this as my transition color. So I'm going to put it all over this sort of area of my lid. It's actually got some nice pigment to it. And it's super blendable. I really like this. And I'm also working this into the inner corner of my eye. So I'm also going to take that same shade on a slightly more tapered blending brush and run that on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going into this orange shade over here on a Sigma E40 blending brush. And I'm just sort of running this color sort of in the same areas, but a little lower. And I'm gonna sort of sandwich my eye as well, if that makes sense. So it's a halo eye, I think is the right term. So I'm gonna put some color here and then also some co color in the inner corner over here. Spotlight eye, sandwich eye. Halo eye, I don't know what the term is, but just place it like that. <laughs> These colors though, they're so pigmented. Okay, Milani, come through. And then I'm just taking my blending brush again and just sort of softening those two colors together. And actually with the brush that it came with on like the blending brush side, I'm gonna be taking the orange color and dragging that under my lower lash line. This brush is not bad. Not bad at all. So I think I'm pretty happy with that, but now I'm going into the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadow in the shade Amber Rush, and it looks like this. It is absolutely stunning. Sorry, the glare is kind of... First, I'm gonna take this on my finger and sort of push this into the center of my lid, and then I'm gonna go in with a brush and spray it with Fix Plus and further intensify it. I'm gonna go back in with the orange again and just sort of go out or go on the outer corners just to make sure the orange is still intense. So I'm loving how this looks so far, but I do wanna add a little bit of shimmer or glitter. So I'm actually gonna take this Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and it looks like this. It's like a duo that has like a cream on one side and a glitter on the other. I'm just gonna take the glitter and I'm just gonna sort of like dab this on my hand first 
And then just dab a little bit on my brush and lightly tap that over my eye just to add a little bit of shimmer and glitter. So it's not like an in-your-face sort of glitter. It's just kind of like a little shimmer and when it catches the light, it just looks so beautiful. So I think it's perfect for Eid because it's not going to be too intense. I'm going to be taking the same shadow that we used earlier on just a smaller little brush. And I'm going to be putting this on my lower lash line. Just in the center of my lower lash line though. Right over here. This is my one cheat product. I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream because none of those shades were just showing up on my brow bone. Instead of using a typical black liquid liner, you can totally do that if you want. Instead, Daddy! Instead, I'm gonna be using a brown one just because I feel like it'll go with these tones better. This one is by Annabelle, it is very dirty, but is their two-in-one eyeliner. So that was actually really difficult to use. I would not recommend getting this one. But now I'm just gonna pop on some lashes. So I have two different ones to choose here. These are both by Ardell and they're from their Faux Mink collection. And these are actually available at the drugstore. I've seen them at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada and then you can find them pretty much anywhere in the US, I'm guessing. Because I have a halo eye going, I think I'm gonna end up going with these ones, which is the more like rounded ones. I'm just gonna pop these on. I can never put on lashes while on camera. So I'm gonna put on mascara, put on my lashes, and then come back. <laughs> oh, and by the way, the mascara that I'll be using is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. This mascara is amazing. Okay, so that literally took so long, but I love how these lashes look. I find, whoa, shit's rolling all over the place. Um, I find they look super, super natural, so I think they're perfect for Eid. They're super comfortable on the eyes as well, um, but they just add like the perfect amount of drama. For the inner corner of my eye, I am going to take this shimmery shade, tap that into my inner corner. And while I'm here, I am going to contour my nose using the same NYX bronzing powder that we used earlier. I am also going to tight line my eyes with this NYX black brown eyeliner. I did not realize I wasn't recording, but for blush, I'm going to go into this Sweet Cheeks palette by NYX, and I'm going into these two shades over here, and it created sort of a really beautiful peachy coral shade, which goes really, really nicely with this eye look. And for my highlight today, I'm going to be using Milani's Candlelight Spotlight Face in Eye Strobe Palette. I don't really know what this is called, but it says it's in O2. It's very beautiful. It looks like this. And I think I'm going to take the middle shade, or a mix of the middle shade and the champagne shade. It's a very finely milled highlighter, and I think it goes perfect with this look. I really like it. This is an Equal Tools fan brush, by the way. Oof. That is gorgeous. So before I move on to my lips, I am going to set my face using the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist. And it looks like this. Now to line my lips, I'm going to be using the City Color City Chic Lip Liner. And this is in the shade Coco. Looks like this. And then over top of that, I'm going to be using this by Maybelline. This is one of their new um, matte collection, Intimat, Instamats, or something like that. I don't really know what this line is called, but they have a ton of beautiful matte brown shades. And this one is in the shade Toasted Truffle. If you can see that, 570. And this is like freaking gorgeous, right up my alley. So I'm going to apply this. So I originally wanted the shade um, Raw Chocolate, which I think would actually go a lot nicer with this look. But everywhere I went, it, like the tester, or sorry, the actual product was like already used. So unfortunately I couldn't get that. But if you can find Raw Chocolate, I would get that over... Well, I would still get this one. They're actually both very beautiful. But Raw Chocolate is just a bit lighter, um, a little more nude. This one is definitely nude for deeper skin tones, but it's a little more on the brown terracotta side. But nevertheless, I think it's gorgeous. I think the yellow tones in the lipstick really bring out the eye color and... I really like how this pairs up together. So this is the completed look. I just went ahead and threw on a scarf over my head. This one is by Chinute & Co. 
in Lene, if you guys are wondering, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this first makeup tutorial of my Eid series. There will be many more coming, inshallah, and yeah, I'm so in love with this. I feel like I may even wear this for Eid. It's like so up my alley, and I know a lot of you guys are going to enjoy it as well, so if you did enjoy it, definitely give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!